Domination 3, guys, on Afghan. It's the first game I used my M16, and then I was very pleased to see that they turned it down a notch. Um, I'd say it's in between how powerful it was, which is overpowered in Modern Warfare 1, to how powerful it should be. Meaning it's just slightly still a little bit overpowered, but in my opinion, I'd say it's just perfect because it being the burst fire, meaning you can't just spray with it. You have to be very accurate, you have to keep that on them, and it usually takes at least two bursts. Unless you're right in his face, then it'll probably just take one burst. But uh, it's a very all-around nice assault rifle. Um, definitely glad that they brought it back. But, you know, the only gun that... I would take back all the guns that came back from Modern Warfare 1 just for the M40A3. I would. Which is crazy. I still have yet to unlock the AK-47. So I still don't know which is my favorite assault rifle. But, you know, you'll hear about that later in future commentaries. So I get, ended up getting a decent score of this game. Um, it's my one and only death. Bling. That's a, uh, it's a good perk. I, uh, I don't really use it for domination or any game where you're you don't really need to be stealthy. Um, re, uh, when I use it, it's, it tends to be in search and destroy with a red dot and a silencer. Having that can really be handy. I really... The only reason I won't use bling and search and destroy is if I'm using a... Uh, a gun where I don't mind the iron sights. So I can use the... Silencer. Well, yeah, I just fail miserably, but luckily he's not as good as I am. So I still get the kill. I'm holding down C as best I can, and you could say that I'm camping, but I'm just defending the C. So we're holding C and B, and uh, there's quite a few guys already at B, so I decided to stay over here at C and hold it down. I'm really uh, not a fan of the players that go into domination and all they do is go for kills. Don't understand why they're playing domination when they could play team deathmatch. I can't understand people that play ground war that they're playing it for team deathmatch, but I don't know. My opinion is just play regular team deathmatch. I really love ground war for montage making. I've mentioned this before. I don't I think I did mention this in my last video too. I'm going to be recording for a while for montages as of now. I don't see a need to release one every week considering the game's going to be... I'm going to be playing this game for the next two years probably. Anyways, I already mentioned all that. I'm not going to talk about it again. So what I'm using is the... Well, I guess you've already figured it out. The Predator Missile, Harry Strike, and Chopper Gunner. Probably the most common setup you'll see out there. Second most common, I'd say, is the... Uh... Harrier, Chopper Gunner, and Nuke. Uh... When I played this game, I didn't have the Nuke unlocked yet. And I've still yet to get a Nuke. I've been playing a lot of game battles in Assassin's Creed 2, so... I don't know, I haven't really gone for it too much yet, but... Hopefully I can get a game of that soon. I have a 36 and 3 sniping match, which I'd like to release. I also have a 23 and 0 FAMAS match, which I'm going to release to demonstrate the overpoweredness of that gun. It is, in my eyes, the new M16. I don't know why Infinity War did that, but they felt they needed an, another M16. Uh, but what are you going to do, right? There's a gimp in every game, and Call of Duty seems to always have one overpowered weapon. And that's just too bad, because this game would be perfect without that one weapon in each game. 
No, I didn't start in Call of Duty 2 or Call of Duty 3. I started at Call of Duty 4. So, M16, MP40, and Famas. That's what I've experienced. Uh, have you guys noticed that? Uh, but the uh, M16 was not as annoying in Call of Duty 4 as the Famas is in this game. Like, anybody can take the Famas and go flawless. It is just so easy. Like, if I made a new account and all I used was the FAMAS, my KD would be through the roof. It would be over 100, literally. If I played defensively, and just, you know, I played really smart, it would be insane. <laughs> but I'm not going to do that, because doing that would be abusing the game and using what Infinity Ward screwed up on and hopefully makes an update, but they probably won't, because... They don't seem to like to make updates to uh, change the powerful, the power of a gun because it might piss off the players, I guess. I don't know. I'd be pretty pissed if they uh, fixed the M M40A3 ACOG overpower. I would, because sniping's hard enough, man. You gotta, you gotta give us something to help us, help us kill people like that. So uh, I think that's my, f right there, that's my final kill of the game. Oh uh, yeah, so the last little bit's kind of boring. Um, so yeah, comment below on what you'd like to be released. First, the FAMAS game or the sniping game. The FAMAS game is on Invasion. And the Intervention game is on underpass so please comment below and yeah that's about it uh, enjoy the final seconds of this gameplay uh, there's nothing else to go so if you leave the video you aren't missing anything alright guys I'll see you later changing mag UAV online Heads up! Enemy UAV spotted! Your work is appreciated. Well done.